Well, this month we're talking about prayer and the importance of prayer in all aspects of life. And I have with me Joe Curto, who I've known for years. And I think Joe has a real interesting story about bringing prayer into his business. So Joe, tell me a little bit about some of the practices you did with your company uh, using prayer as a strategic tool. Yeah, it, it was an amazing time. Um, I was a part owner of a construction company from about 2000 to about 2010. And um, two of my partners, both of my partners were strong Christians, which is, was amazing. You know, having that agreement to be able to do things based upon what we believe as much as based upon what we know and, and do. So um, a couple things that we used to do pretty regularly. Um, first one was um, for the beginning couple of years um, and periodic periodically throughout the rest of the term I was there, we would meet um, and pray every single morning. Mm -hmm. um, and what was interesting about that, and I think was really important, is the three of us came from one of the biggest gas station builders in the country, um, one of the most prominent gas station builders in the uh, country. They built Exxon Mobil, the biggest companies in the world. And we were pretty talented uh, uh, managers in that organization, so it's so easy to just let your talent or your experience kick in and make decisions based upon that. But we focused on just praying about things. Even though we knew how to do things in the natural, mm -hmm. we just wanted to make sure God was brought in <laughs> uh, or was directing us, that's the better word, uh, in those things and instead of just making decisions based on our experience. So uh, especially in those beginning years, it was vitally important because we did some things that were probably different than we would have if we um, let our experience or our talent um, make those decisions. So uh, that was the first thing um, that we did. Two other things that we, we did pretty regularly, um, uh, one every year, is we went away on retreats. Um, when we were strategic planning, we would go uh, to a retreat house for a couple days and uh, um, build our strategic plan, but also pray over it, get our direction, and build into the plan. Um, not only the direction that we're being led to do, but actually confirming it, allowing God to help us in that group and in that time to confirm the plans that we're, we're making. And that was vital uh, as well, because uh, we made a couple of shifts and changes based upon um, our time in those retreats. Mm. But there was another time we would go away once a year for almost the whole duration that I was there. Um, we would go to uh, um, a, a teaching seminar and me, and at that time it was only one partner, um, would uh, go and we would have different desires and different uh, things happening in our lives. We both had different positions in the company, but we also had personal lives, we had spiritual lives. And um, we would go to these um, uh, teaching seminars and speak very little to each other outside of what God's talking to us about, because we both wanted to find direction uh, from God not only in the business, but in our personal life. And that was so important to us. And we did it every year um, for the 10 years uh, I was there. So those three aspects of prayer really helped us to not just engage life in our natural state, but be able to interject and allow the spirit to direct and redirect us on occasions. Um, can you give an example of how God may have directed you in a different path than what your human mind would have thought or your business mind would have thought? Yeah, there's a couple of good ones, um, but I'll just um, give you two. Uh, one was a legal case that we had. Um, uh, we uh, were suing a customer for non-payment and we had a really strong case. And we started the process of going down that road. Um, and uh, as we were probably two-thirds through it, uh, as myself and Brian were praying, the Spirit told us to drop the case mm. that late into it. And what's interesting is the case went on, the countersuit went on, and we won the case. So at the end of the day, we would have won our uh, uh, part of the case if we kept uh, it moving forward. Uh, so that was an amazing moment because it was a humbling moment, and it was something we know we wouldn't have done in our own you know, intelligence and right. thoughts in our natural uh, way we were thinking um, about things. Also, another good example of it is uh, um, the Spirit would talk to me or talk to Brian 
uh, when one of us was getting overstressed in a situation, the spirit would just rise up and, and tell us to, to take that stress away. Meaning if I had to grab a project for a couple of weeks or Brian would have to grab a customer for a couple of weeks that were difficult. Uh, and he would talk to us and tell us uh, individually and then corporately uh, to do that for each other. So those are the type of things that we experience pretty regularly. It's awesome. Um, I'm going to ask Joe to come back and talk a little bit more um, on how he actually hears from God and how we all have an opportunity to hear from God, which is um, really the foundation of using the prayer that he talked about for your business. So the next time I'm going to have Joe just talk specifically to men about how you can raise your antenna and uh, really connect with the Holy Spirit. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.